Sebastian and I like to talk about uh, a nice, I will say, not a really um, application user case. It's more um, practical from our standpoint. So yes. it's more, uh, yeah, we, let's talk about the sensors, right? Yes, sensors and maybe also signals, trends, some trends. And we have also a case study with some real trends, um, but we will see. Ah, okay. Yeah, and I look to that and uh, we talk about uh, the hyper uh, application, the hyper machine. That's correct. And hyper is, is not really a classic uh, reciprocating machine. Eh? So we learn from, from day to day, we learn as well yes, about these sure. machines. Yeah. Every day new experience. Yeah, like this one. And yeah. so thank you so much that you share that with us, your experiences. Yeah, you're welcome. And uh, I think let's start. This case study shows the specificity of hyper monitoring. We will have a look to the compressor in general overview in detailed cylinder vibration, cylinder and plunger, and we have, will have a look to the bus tube effect. What is this and why does it occur? And I will explain the library test where we checked the influence of temperatures that affected the measured values. We will also have a look to the exper experimental setup and to the results. Afterwards, example pictures of parts that causes the bus tube effect will explain and show. Here we see the complete hyper machine, in this case 12 cylinders. We have different parts like central valve, plunger itself, intermediate crosshead, the crankshaft, the corset frame, also the elastic rod coupling um, and the packing and the cylinder itself. Which sensors are located on the hyper compressor? We have for sure the trigger which is very important for our monitoring system. We have also frame vibration and crosshead vibration, the cylinder vibration, and also the dynamic pressure sensors. In case of a hyper compressor, it's uh, the DMS rings. But in our case, we will uh, have a special look to the plunger position, which is monitored with a proximity sensor. Here again, a sectional drawing from the hyper compressor, but in the uh, next slides, we will have a detailed look only at this area here, so the cylinder itself. The cylinder, it's uh, with many parts in it, but we have um, a detailed look to the plunger, to the packing, and for sure the proximity sensor. The proximity sensor, one of these proximity sensors is located here. This is uh, Y probe and also the X probe is located here in this area. Um, we have in mind that the plunger is going forward and backward in, in this packing because it's, it's an, a dynamic part. This is really important to have in mind because this part, the, the plunger, could heat it up and the sensor will monitor in different areas of temperature. So what is the bus tube effect? The bus tube effect is so-called because it looks like a bus tube so we have here the proximity signals in our online diagram. Looks like a bus tube. We see also cylinder vibration, crosshead vibration here, and also the dynamic pressure. But um, important is these um, signals from the proximity sensor here, the green and brown one. So in case of a malfunction in the packing, it could lead to um, a particular heating of the plunger, so it's so-called a hot spot. It's shown here in this uh, picture. This red area is the uh, hottest one, and for sure the blue uh, uh, areas here, it's cold. But you have in mind, the plunger goes forward and backward in the packing and in the machine, and the, the uh, proximity sensors measured the distance in different areas of the temperature. So a library test was performed and the library test is test execution was like following. The distance between plunger and sensor was set to one millimeter when the plunger was cold. Then plunger section, in this case was Wolfram Kabit, the material, was heated up to 380 degrees Celsius. When temperature um, was cooling down, the distance and the temperature 
was uh, monitored permanently. So we have the, the cool, cooling phase and also the distance between uh, plunger and, and sensor. Afterwards, we change this diameter of thermal expansion and compensate it to the, our measurement. Here we see the results of the library test. We could see green and white line here. This is uh, values from the proximity sensors to different proximity sensors. We have the red line. What is the temperature in this area? It goes from 330 degree Celsius to more or less 40 degrees Celsius. Um, we have a maximum value from the uh, plunger, uh, from the proximity sensors um, from 0 0.4 millimeters. And we composite, composite this uh, delta L here, and we have a an, an temperature influence from a prox 0 0.1 millimeter per 100 degrees Celsius. Let's have a look to a real case study. So it means we have a real case. We see here in our trend values, um, the plunger peak to peak values in red. And we see in blue, the plunger temperature. We will have a focus only to one of these peaks in, in, in this time. So here. Here you see the machine was stopped and started directly. Also important is no parts were changed in between these start and stops. Two days before the event, we could see a slight increasing of the cylinder vibration in this area from three to six, from uh, uh, segment three to segment six here. This was the first indication of uh, um, something. At that time, when the uh, event occurs, uh, we have um, high temperature, and this high temperature leads to this, you see it here, the typical bus tube effect. So this brown and green, we saw it before in the slides, um, is of course because the temperature of the plunger was high. After the event, when the compressor, when the hypercompressor was started again, um, we have an increased cylinder vibration, um, which causes, in this case, by the packing, by packing failure. But what we also see is, um, because the temperature was, was cooler than before, also the bus tube effect is gone, and we have a smooth uh, movement from the plunger, here in brown and green. These are parts of the, of the uh, packing and what causes the uh, bus tube effect. Um, we have polymerization or maybe a malfunction from, from the packing, what is heated up the, the plunger. And when we have this hotspot on the plunger, it could be uh, indicated with our proximity sensors with this typical bastard effect. These are also parts which can lead to a bus tube effect or also to the vibration uh, we see before. Um, we have broken parts or maybe also uh, polymerization in, in the packing. Yeah, we welcome you. Thank you for listening to our uh, web session, the case study uh, point here and uh, have a great day. Yeah, see you next time. Bye-bye. Also from my side, bye-bye.